is Vanessa Joy and welcome to this week's episode of Breathe Your Passion here on Adorama TV. We're going to talk about wedding details, so let's get into it. First off, when I photograph wedding details, I like to make sure that I'm photographing them all in the same place. While I'm sure the wedding details would look great if I photograph the shoes in one place, the rings in another, the invite in another, they're all going to go together on an album spread typically or next to each other on a blog post. So I like the consistency and the cohesiveness if I photograph them all in the same or similar place with the same or similar light. First, when I photograph the shoes, I'm usually using a 50 or an 85, focusing on the front of the shoe because that tends to be where most of the detail is. Next, I'll swap and put the bouquet in the same exact spot that I'm putting the shoes because again, they're gonna go next to each other probably on my blog. For the flowers, I'll photograph the entire bouquet and then focus on different parts of it like a grouping of the flowers or the stems. On the stems, it's very popular right now to have a little bit of detail on them so it's nice to capture that as well. For the invitation, I try to make sure that I show all the different parts of the invitation laid out as they are, you know, the invite card, the RSVP card accommodations, directions, things like that. I like to get each and every part of them. This is also a really great place to incorporate things like the bride's earrings, bracelet, or even her shoes because hopefully they all match and it's just a nice little accent to have there. Next we have the rings. The rings I decided to photograph right on the bride's shoe because it held the rings stable nicely and then it also was nice and sparkly so it had some bokeh to it. Now, while most of the pictures that you see here of the details are photographed wide open around 2.5, 2.8, 3.2, on my aperture, I'm going to bump that up for my macro shots. Because I'm using a macro lens, my plane to focus is much smaller, so I need to make sure that I bump up my aperture to around 5, 6, 8, or even 16, depending on how much light I have. As you can see in these two pictures, the first one being shot at 2.8, very little of this photo is in focus. While overall, yes, it's light and airy and pretty, it's not focusing on what I want to show off of the detail of the engagement ring. While this next picture here is shot at a much higher aperture, you can see so much more. There's so much more in focus, the entire engagement ring, the diamonds and the diamonds around it, as well as bringing the wedding bands into focus. Finally, we're going to photograph the wedding dress. Now the wedding dress, obviously you want to photograph it in a place where it lays nicely, but I like to photograph it in a spot that sets the scene for the day. Here at the Park Savoy, we are able to hang the dress right in front of the venue on a tree. So it's a perfect spot to let the dress hang, gorgeous, natural light, and in front of the venue where it really sets the scene. I hope that I was able to give you some tips on photographing your wedding details. Best of luck to you on your next shoot. I will see you here with Breathe Your Passion on Adorama TV next time and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss it. See you soon.